I'm Randy and I make candy and today I'm making taffy. Stick around. <music> Greetings my confectionery compañeros and welcome to Randy Makes Candy where I help you make tasty treats that people love to eat. Like I said, today I'm making taffy. Jay, this is for you buddy. I've never made taffy before, so this could be awesome, could be a disaster, could be an awesome disaster. If there's something you'd like to see me make, please let me know in the comments section. Now there are a lot of options when it comes to taffy flavors. Since one of my avocations is beekeeping, I thought it would be appropriate to make honey taffy. And this isn't just honey flavored, oh no. Honey is literally the only ingredient. While I could certainly use the honey from my hive, I decided it might be interesting to try this with some honey that my wife purchased for me. Honey infused with Carolina Reaper peppers. Because if you've seen my habanero fudge episode, you know that I'm a fan of the sweet and spicy combo. And after the recipe, I have a couple of honey facts that you might find interesting. Okay, let's make this happen. For this recipe, I'm using 254 grams of honey. That should make about a dozen pieces, depending on how big I make them. If you want more pieces, just use more honey. You'll also need a saucepan, a spoon or a spatula, a candy thermometer, a lined baking sheet, and some cooking spray, oil, or butter to keep the taffy from sticking to everything. Okay, let's make some taffy. Line a baking sheet with parchment paper and give it a light coat of cooking spray. Place the honey and a candy thermometer in a saucepan. Cook it over medium heat until the temperature reaches 280 degrees Fahrenheit. Pour the honey onto the baking sheet. Let it sit until it's cool enough to handle. 10 minutes was enough in this case. Don't wait too long or it'll be too hard to work with. Fold the honey into a ball. Stretch it and fold it back onto itself. What you're doing here is aerating the honey as you fold it over and over again. You'll notice the color changing from amber to a really, really beautiful gold color to a light tan. I spent about eight minutes pulling this batch. When it reaches the consistency you'd like, separate it into halves, roll each piece into about a 12 inch snake and remember how much you miss Play-Doh. Cut each taffy snake into six pieces. Form each piece into whatever shape you'd like. You can do squares or balls or rectangles or tubes or whatever. Finally, wrap each piece in some cellophane or wax paper. And that's it. Okay, these are ready. Let's try some. Slanche va. I just took a small piece because this is really sticky and if I ate the whole thing, I'd be chewing it for half an hour. Instant blast of honey, almost immediately followed by the heat. This might have been better with maybe a little less spice, like maybe equal amounts of spicy and regular honey, but if you like honey, you really should try this. It's just amazingly good. Honey is a pretty amazing substance from how it's created to how it can be used. I'm sure you know that nectar is the main ingredient for honeys and that honeybees suck up the nectar from flowers, but you may not have known that if the bee is hungry, the nectar goes into their stomach for digesting, just like when we eat food, but if the bee is gathering nectar to make into honey, the nectar is diverted into the bee's honey stomach, which is meant solely for storage. No digestion takes place there. The honey stomach does, however, produce enzymes that help to break the complex sugars of the nectar into more simple sugars that are less prone to crystallization. It's a process called inversion. Uh, I talked a little bit about inversion in my caramel video. Once a bee returns to the colony, the nectar is stored in beeswax honey cells. There, bees fan their wings over the nectar to thicken the honey through evaporation. 
the nectar starts out being about 80% water, but when the water content is down to about 18%, it's officially honey. And the bees will place a wax cap over the cells to store the honey for later consumption during the winter when the flowers are not blooming and there's no nectar to collect and eat. How do the bees know when it gets down to 18%? Because bees are awesome, that's how. The honey's low water content, along with the enzymes imparted during its creation, give it some very interesting characteristics. The first of these is its shelf life, which for all intents and purposes is forever. The low water content, enzymes, and high acidity, honey's pH is about four, mean that bacteria can't survive in it. As long as the honey's in a sealed container, you can keep it on your shelf indefinitely. Honey's been found in Egyptian tombs, and that honey had been there for thousands of years without spoiling. Kudos to the first person brave enough to put it on their toast, though. When the container is opened, honey's hygroscopic qualities kick in. It starts absorbing water from the air, which brings us to another use for this amazing substance. As honey absorbs water, it releases minute amounts of hydrogen peroxide, which makes for a great wound treatment. A manuscript dated to 1550 BC states that honey was used in surgical dressings for burns, ulcers, and many other injuries. There are companies today that are following in that tradition, offering wound and burn dressings that are saturated with honey in an attempt to prevent infection and speed healing. Final fun fact, it takes 12 honeybees their entire lifetime to produce a single teaspoon of this magnificent golden liquid. So next time you see a bee, tell her thanks. If you enjoyed our time together, please like, share, and subscribe. Click the bell if you wanna be notified when new videos come out. I'd love to hear about your results if you decide to make your own taffy, as well as suggestions for what you'd like to see in future videos. A wise philosopher once said, a day without a friend is like a pot without a single drop of honey left inside. That philosopher, of course, was Winnie the Pooh. I hope you'll join me next time. I'm Randy and I make candy. So what? Now there have a lot. They're if the bees gathering hunter to Offering wound and broom. Mm.